everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Amy Carr. I'm the Vice President of Recruiting here at Worldwide Health Staff Solutions. And today we are joined by some wonderful folks from Novant Health. We're going to learn a little bit more about what is great about working at Novant Health. I'd like to introduce you to Tracy Whitley, who is a program manager, um, Carol Alonzo Jarvis, who is a program assistant nurse manager in the Charlotte market, and Jordan Stanley, a program assistant nurse manager for the Winston-Salem market, all three in North Carolina. Uh, first, they're going to give you a presentation, and then we're going to do some question and answers at the end. So please feel free to put all of your questions in the chat. We'd love to answer them, and we'd also love to hear which country everybody's watching from today. So let me turn it over to Team Novant. Hi, good morning, guys. We are so excited that you have joined us from all over the world to be um, in this webinar to think and um, participate, possibly um, come to Novant Health. We are... Um, actually representing our International Nurse Fellowship Program that we have at Novant Health and our partnership with Worldwide Health Solutions. So good morning and, and welcome or good afternoon. Um, I think we always start with our mission, our vision, and our values of Novant Health. This is what drives us as a company. It is what means the most to us in all that we do. And our mission is to always improve the health of communities one person at a time. I want to pull your attention to our values. Our values are those core things that we believe in, that we feel truly makes a difference. And those things include pieces and parts that I'm sure are near and dear to your heart, which include compassion. As a nurse, you know, we're always compassionate. We have to have courage. We're asking you guys to move across the world. I think that takes a little courage. Um, we have diversity, inclusion, equity, excellence, safety, and teamwork. Those are what our core values are that you will see on our units each and every day. Above that, I would like to say that we truly have our people motto. And that is that we are an inclusive team of purpose-driven people, inspired and united by our passion to care for others, um, each other and our patients and our communities. And so I think by taking a chance on Novant Health, you will find that we are a company that you could really grow to love and become a part of. So I'm going to introduce us a little bit more. My background is mostly in women's health nursing. Um, I've been a nurse for 27 years. It's hard to believe it's been that long. I have been most of that time at Novant Health. 26 and a half of those years has been at Novant Health. So I know a lot about our company. Um, I am thrilled to be the manager of this new program. And we look forward to hopefully welcoming you um, into the Novant Health family. I'll turn it over to Carol. Hi, everybody. Thanks again for taking the time to do this um, webinar with us today. Um, so my name is Carol Alonzo Jarvis. Um, I am the assistant nurse manager for the International Nurse Fellowship. I am Filipino. And so all of my bisdak at atong mga kauban nga katagalogan po, um, welcome sa amuang Novant Fellowship. So this will be um, a really informal type of getting to know our program. And I am an ED nurse, so that's emergency nurse um, by trade. And I've been with Novant um, and started as an ED nurse and grew my career to now being the assistant nurse manager of this program. Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan Stanley. Um, I am one of the assistant nurse managers for this International Nurse Fellowship Program as well. I started with Novant Health in 2015 as a certified nursing assistant and have grown my career up to this assistant nurse manager. Most of my nursing background is in the emergency room as well. And I've also done a year in the neonatal ICU at Forsyth Medical Center. Um, we're really excited to have this today and get to talk to you all about what Novant Health is all about. So 
This is a pretty general map of all of the locations for Novant. We have a total of 16 hospitals throughout North Carolina. Um, right now we are hiring for three for this program, but we are planning on eventually expanding that. So for Scythe Medical Center, that is our biggest hospital. It's in Winston-Salem. And then Thomasville is one of our smaller ones. It's 146 beds. And then Presbyterian is in Charlotte, which is near the border of South Carolina, and it's 576 beds. This chart here is an outline of this past year, 2022, kind of showing the diversity of our team members. Novant Health is very into diversity and inclusion, and we're trying to expand our numbers and grow from that. So as you can see, there have been, last year, there's 47 different languages spoken throughout all of Novant Health team members. That includes nurses, CNAs, managers, our EVS workers, everyone that's a part of creating the Novant Health experience. Um, down below, we also have these BRGs. That stands for Business Resource Groups. It's a resource that we have for everyone so that they can be involved and in a community support system if they feel like they need it. For example, we have Coexist, which is a spiritual group, um, Black and African American, Asian, Pride, Native American, Todos Unidos. So it's very inclusive to all of those different things and anyone can join any of the groups. You don't have to be um, specifically African American to join the African American group. And so a little overview about our INF program, which stands for International Nurse Fellowship, you will have full leadership support. So that Tracy, myself and Jordan, and we will always be in your corner. So also, um, addition to that is we pair you with an international all advisor. So what that means is they are current Novant Health team members, and ideally they will be from your country. So um, for example, myself, I could be an international advisor and I would um, kind of mentor and be a friend to a Filipino international nurse that have just um, come to the U.S. and do not know anything about the American culture. Um, so I would be a resource person for all the international nurses, but also, you know, have that unique connection to the Filipino nurses. Um, so post arrival support, once you get here to North Carolina, we schedule a meet and greet prior to your start date. And that would give you the opportunity to meet your um, manager, do an, um, like an informal tour of the unit and possibly meet some of your coworkers just so that excuse me, just so you get to know what the unit is all about. And then we are currently building our fellowship forum, um, which really is focusing on the challenges and nuances of communication and American culture. So kind of getting to that nitty gritty and how to overcome any obstacles or really know how to interact and be successful in the U.S. Um, we also have our fellowship retreat, which is um, scheduled around International Nurse Day, which is on May uh, 12th. And then we, um, we will also encourage all of our staff members, so not just uh, unit leaders, but we are encouraging a system-wide um, action on learning about different cultures, um, diversity, and of course, as Tracy alluded earlier, um, Novant Health really values diversity, inclusion, and equity. So we, we in turn will teach our unit, unit leaders, managers about different cultures and prepare them for your arrival. And then here on the screen is a little um, snapshot of what your road to Novant Health will look like. So we start with the hiring process, which we partner with Worldwide Health. So they will help us schedule interviews. And uh, Jordan, Tracy, and myself will be interviewing um, candidates that are interested in working for Novant Health. And then um, upon the completion of interviews, we send out notifications of offers successful candidates and then worldwide health will start the immigration process documentation and they will be your resource person for that 
Um, some of our resources um, in the program specifically is we have a robust education department. Um, we have a lot of clinical nurse education educators specific to specialties. So um, myself, I was uh, an ED clinical nurse educator. So I am familiar with um, what courses specific to ED um, is available to our international nurses and specialty courses. So um, anything that you might need um, more support on, um, specifically maybe um, electronic charting, we have classes for that. Um, if you need help with um, charting, documenting, um, just anything in general clinically related, then we have a course for that. We also have our International Nurse Fellowship Forums, which I explained earlier. And then we also have additional language and cultural services. So we understand how difficult it is, personally understand how difficult it is to kind of incorporate yourself, find your niche and, you know, kind of, kind of just blend in or stand out, like just find your spot. Um, so that is also one of the resources we provide. We have simulation. So if you are not familiar with the equipment that we have here in the US, then we have our simulations department to help with that. Um, and the international advisors um, and also fellowship facts, which is our newsletter. So fellowship facts, we send those out every month so that you will be informed of um, anything up to date that's relevant to international nurses like mandatory CBLs, which are um, computer based learning. Um, anything that's updated on the Novant Health system wide or anything that pertains to you as a staff nurse as, and as an international nurse. Um, and then we have Novant Health resources. We do provide logistical assistance, which is the initial relocation assistance and also transportation. Um, so that would uh, be in partnership with our people and culture department. Um, we also have our EAP, which is the Employee Assistance Program, which is really robust. And also they have a lot of resources for you, not just, um, you know, financially, it's more of a holistic support system. And uh, Jordan also talked about the business resource groups. So those are great to building your family and your community in the U.S. Um, we also have our diversity and inclusion department. They have a lot of learning resources to help you understand and navigate the American culture and how to interact and ask questions and really know the um, Southern um, intonation or Southern um, sayings, uh, potential employment opportunities for your spouse and dependents. We also look into that if you do need assistance. And we have a com comprehensive benefit package. So I'll uh, turn it off um, to a video that we will be sharing with you. Novant Health is a great place to work for parents. There's always someone there. We care about you. You really do matter here. The atmosphere of being able to be flexible. You can, you know, work on the weekends. You can be part-time. You can be full-time. Novant Health has been a complete blessing to me. I know I can always come to them freely and they listen to me. Work. I love the people I work with. People say like your work family and it really is that for me. They attended my wedding, they attended the, my birth of my children. We always, you know, support each other, we're there for each other. They're very inclusive and that to me is what uh, diversity is, is you don't feel the difference. Team members know, um, you know, that I'm married, they know my husband's name. You get to work with uh, different kinds of people from all uh, different walks of life and we don't um, judge. I don't say we work as a team, we work as a family. Navon is very much encouraging the nurses 
um, to go back to school. They want the best for the nurses. I feel like I'm surrounded by a team that very much promotes nurse growth as well as nurse professionalism. They advocate for you and they really do try to push you to be the best nurse you can be. Hey, anything I can do for you, anything you need help with, they're always on top of everything with us. I love new grads. I love nurse residents because we mold them our way from the ground up. Novant Health Nurse Residency Programs prepares you for being a nurse on your own. We've changed from a lot of in-person to virtual instruction. It gives them flexibility when they want it, where they want it, and on the go. I have been given a lot of opportunities for my leadership team for, you know, opportunities for professional growth. Mentorship has been a huge part of my experience in the pediatric emergency department. North Carolina is a beautiful state. You're close to the mountains. You're close to the, you know, you're close to the ocean. You can get to each, any of those in, you know, just a day travel. The weather is beautiful. Good schools for kids. Great bar scene, great breweries, um, amazing restaurants. We love Charlotte. We moved from Atlanta and we would never go back. It is like such a fun city. I think it has something to offer for any age. I love wood living in Winston because there's just enough city and I'm just close enough to Charlotte and Raleigh. North Carolina offers so many things. It's a great place to be, and I think it's a great place to you know, raise a family. Every patient is everyone's patient. Nurses have lots of great ideas. They're the ones at the bedside um, realizing what we need to do to, to better care for our patients. I think the more that you can go into a room and open up to a patient and they know that you're just human. Little things like that I think mean a lot to patients. I think just going in and saying I'm happy to be your nurse today. I want to be here. I want to help you. It just helps present the day in a better way and helps the day go much you have to show that you truly care for the patient and you have to make sure that when you go inside the patient's room that you're not in a rush. I leave work so many days feeling like I was a light on a really tough day for my patients and for their families and that gives me a lot of satisfaction. I love to care for people. It's passion and purpose. So if I can do both, I'm meeting my expectations of everything I'm supposed to do in life. All right, that was awesome. Um, so we're gonna move on to the question and answer section of this. Um, so if you have questions and you are with us watching today, please make sure to put your questions in the chat. We would love to answer all the questions that you have. Um, I have some questions that I know that people are gonna ask that I'd love to start with. Um, so, and you, you, y'all talked a lot about, um, you know, career development. There was a piece in the video about how Novant supports career development. Can you talk about some different career paths that there are within Novant Health if you're a nurse? Sure, I can take that one. So, um, Novant Health has a lot of resources to help individuals to get to where they want to go. For example, we have three career pathways for nurses. There's the professional development pathway, the leadership pathway, and the advanced practice pathway. So if you're wanting to go into more professional development, education, wound care, um, diabetes educator, something that's very specific to a professional pathway in nursing, then we can 100% get you there through certification, through education. We have tuition reimbursement. We are able to provide the support and resources to get you where you want to go. We have leadership classes. We also have advanced practice opportunities where we can help you with tuition reimbursement, going back to school, and then helping you with clinical placement to get your clinical hours. And so from my perspective, 
I started at Novant Health with my bachelor's of science degree in nursing. I was able to get my master's um, in nursing. I have been in the professional development side with education and in clinical practice specialty with women's health. And then I'm now in leadership. So just because you start in one area doesn't mean you have to stay there for the rest of your career. We want you to grow and develop, whether that be at the unit level in certifications in your specialty, or whether that's in a different career form in um, advancement of practice. Awesome, thank you. And it looks like we have some folks on the webinar today that are already hired by Novant Health, which is super exciting too. Um, somebody mentioned if, um, how do you apply? There's there are several ways to apply. Um, CJ put in the chat the link to apply. Also, if you currently um, are already hired by Novant and you wanna refer a friend or family member or colleague, there's also a link in the yellow sticky note at the top to refer a friend or family member. And also, um, there's there are live recruiters available to chat right now. The link you can see in the slide show that will take you directly to live chat with a recruiter. So lots of ways if you're if you're interested in this opportunity. Um, so they, we also in the video saw a little bit about uh, folks talking about why they love to live in North Carolina. And I'll just like plug for me, I've lived in North Carolina my whole life. And I think it's the best state in all of the United States to live in. And I, you would have to pay me a whole lot of money to go live anywhere else. So I think it's the best place to live. Um, but can you talk a little bit about maybe living in North Carolina, schools, safety, that sort of thing? I'll take it. So originally I am from Florida. Um, I've moved up to North Carolina when I was in middle school, so I was still a kid. So I've lived in North Carolina um, for at least 12 years. And really North Carolina kind of has everything you can want. So like it said in the video, there's beaches on one side and mountains on the other. Um, where I live in North Carolina, it's kind of in the middle. And so it takes four hours to drive to the beach and a couple hours to drive to the mountains. So if one day you want to go to the beach and the next weekend you want to go to the mountains, it's pretty easy to do. Um, also in the fall, we have, I like to tell people we have a lot of seasons in North Carolina, where as like in Florida or somewhere else, really the only season you have is hot, right? So in North Carolina, we have all the four seasons, the fall, the mountains, you can drive up to the mountains, drive through the mountains and see the scenery there. Um, there are a lot of good schools in North Carolina in the United States is really known for its, some of its colleges that we have. Um, there's a big college sports community here, and you'll hear a lot of people talk about UNC Chapel Hill or Duke or NC State, and those are big, that's a big part of North Carolina culture here. As for safety, North Carolina is one of the safer places to live. Now, obviously, no matter where you go, there's always going to be somewhere that's a little more unsafe than others, but compared to a lot of other places, North Carolina is very safe. And also, I'd like to add to that. So coming from the Philippines, I know that's like a tropical country. So North Carolina is where you want to be. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Um, I've been here um, three years now. So we um, we love the weather here. Um, it's We have some snow, but not a lot. Um, and I know it's like a transition for me. And also, you know, people are thinking about um, what is the cost of living in North Carolina? You know what? That's always relative. So depending on what your lifestyle is like, if you want to live, uh, you know, below your means, then you can save more. So really, um, you, you know, it's what you make of it. But I've been loving North Carolina. Awesome. Um, let's talk a little bit about like working in the different hospitals. Can we talk a little bit about like what the like you know what's a nurse to patient patient ratio? What's what's training like? Um, you know what is a day in the life of a nurse in in one of the Nova Health hospitals like? So um, I can start that, and then Jordan and Carol can can pitch in for all new hires into North, into Novant Health, 
we have um, what we call our orientation coursework. Those are called our essential classes. The essential classes um, are geared toward the specialty. So based on the specialty in which you were hired, your experience in that specialty and where there might be gaps, whether you used electronic or paper charting, whether you had one type of machine versus another, we would be able to fill in those gaps and make sure that we are able to help you become competent to work in our hospitals. Um, every single team member that comes in has to go through that competency training and it's geared toward the individual. So it very much is individualized to where you start. It's not going to be a cut and dry. You get one week, two weeks, six weeks. It really depends on where you are, what experiences you've had, and what coursework you might need to take. So our education plan is individualized. From a ratio standpoint, it again depends on the specialties. We look to be as close to national standards as possible. So for a med surge unit, for example, or we, we call that our adult acute care units. Those are around a one to five nurse patient ratio. Sometimes it might be a little bit more. Um, sometimes it might be a little bit less depending on acuity of patients. For critical care, it can be one to one up to one to three, depending again, on what's going on. If you are a critical care nurse and you're used to doing continuous renal transfusion, then you know those patients are one-to-one. -one. But if um, most of our patients in critical care are a one-to-two ratio, so it truly depends. Our EDs are one-to-four typically, again, based on acuity. So it, it, it really is one of those things that it depends on the unit, the hospital, and the type of patient but we could definitely go over those more specifically in the interviews. Awesome. Um, there's some questions that are coming through a little bit about like um, onboarding and what happens when you arrive. Um, I want to mention that Worldwide Health Staff has a relocation department that does help support a a lot of things upon arrival and pre-arrival will help make sure you have the right ticket and your family members can come with you, um, coordinating and getting all of that together. We will help with the your first temporary housing and we can help you plan for your permanent housing as well. We have a lot of partners that can help with opening a U.S. bank account, with buying a car once you're here and and a lot of different things that, that are really important as you get settled. Um, one, one question, though, is for family members and spouses, um, is there opportunity at Novant, Novant, whoa, couldn't get that out, Novant Health or surrounding areas um, for spouses um, or other family members who are working age and want to work for them to work? All right, well, I can take this one. Um, so, yes, we do have some opportunities, but also that relates to eligibility. So we can um, support and um, touch base with our recruitment team to see what um, what opportunities we have at Novant Health that will match what their qualifications are. Um, and we are also happy to kind of, you know, push push them in that direction, whatever they want to kind of pursue. But Overall, Novant really supports you to make sure that you and your family are um, settled and really just um, supporting that family and also opportunities, employment opportunities for not just spouses, but also eligible um, children of age. That's awesome. Um, there was another question about benefits. Can you talk a little bit about benefits at Novant Health? So Novant Health offers a complete um, 
array of benefits, meaning you have medical and dental insurance, vision insurance. Um, we're happy to help you navigate what you and your family may need, um, along with our human resources department. We call them our people and culture department. They um, really help make sure that you have what you need as you begin this career. So they'll be there to help you figure out what you and your family need um, for insurance. But then we also have other things because we are a large system that are at discounts. So if you um, have a pet and you want to have pet insurance or, you know, you um, we have retirement funding. Um, what in the United States, we have this thing called a 401k where you put money into an account. Um, companies sometimes will match to a certain percentage what you put in there um, so that you can save for your retirement. Novant Health um, matches 6% of what you put in. So if you put in 6% of your pay, Novant Health will put in 6% and match that. That's just free money to you for your retirement. Um, so there's all kinds of benefits to working for Novant Health, discounts. Um, back to what you know, Amy was saying, there's discounts um, for some housing places and things in that nature that we can help you get connected to. Um, car discounts. Um, so from a benefit standpoint, we have remarkable benefits. I have had my children um, on my benefit package um, for 25 years now, and um, they have done very well. So happy to talk through that um, with you guys um, for specifics. But from a benefit standpoint, I did see in um, questions, it asked about some of them. Some benefits do have a one year, you have to work with us for one year before you get it. Health insurance does not. Um, you get paid time off. That does not. So there's a lot of things that are available to you immediately, but then there are some things you do have to wait a year for, and then those um, additional doors open up. And I wanted to add um, a paternity leave, no, parental leave to that list because, you know, that's like 60% um, of your base pay is covered for um, a month. Is that right, Tracy? Is the parental leave? Well, a couple, well, a little different. So we have short term disability, which is the 60%, which is exactly what you're saying. But in addition to that, Novant Health offers parental leave, which is four weeks at your full salary um, for the birth of a child or adoption of a child. So really excited to be able to offer that one as well. But yes, you get both. So you can have short term disability cover a piece of it, and then you can have an additional four weeks paid. Um, so you get a lot of time to be up to 12 weeks or even sometimes more to be with your family right after the birth of a child or adoption, or if you're sick or, you know, other things, there's, um, this year, gosh, it's 2023, um, we have caregiver leave. Like if you needed to leave for a week to take care of a family member, um, you would get a week of pay. So, um, again, some of those things do have a requirement that you work for us for a certain period of time before you're eligible, but a lot of them do not. But great call out, Karen. Um, Carol. I forgot about that one. Yeah, and, and somebody asked about maternity leave. That is what they were just talking about. Mm -hmm. um, it also covers other health. It's not just for maternity leave. It's, it's a little bit bigger than that, and it you know, covers paternity leave, too. So um, covers a lot of great things. Um, so there are just a couple of questions that have come through about what does it take to qualify to interview? Um, so you do have to have your NCLEX. You have to have already taken and passed the NCLEX exam. You do currently have to have bedside experience. You have to be working in bedside right now. Um, I do know there's lots of reasons why people have to step away from the bedside, but this opportunity today does require current bedside experience. So if this sounds great and you're not working in bedside, let us know as soon as you get back into bedside. We'd love to we'd love to help connect you to, to interview. 
There was another question about what specialties are currently open. Um, and there's a the answer is there's a lot of different specialty areas that are open right now. That's a really great place to connect directly with a recruiter and talk through your experience and see if it's a good fit for one of the locations that Nova is hiring for right now. Um, you know, I will say there's there's always lots and lots of med surge stuff open. So if you are a med surge nurse, I'm sure there's a spot for you. Um, but there's a lot of other specialty areas that are open right now, too. There's one other question about um, sign-on bonus and housing benefit. Um, there is not a sign-on bonus right now for these opportunities. Um, Nova Health does pay for all of the um, immigration expenses for the nurse that's hired, and so that's a pretty pretty hefty cost all in itself. Um, there is a $2,500 um, housing temporary housing relocation bonus that that comes along with this, though. Um, anybody want to add anything to that from the Novant team? No, I think um, the in lieu of the sign-on bonus, it is the immigration fees. Yeah. Um, and then there's a question about, does Novant cover dependent immigration fees? And the answer is no. However, they are able to go on to your petition. The petition is just one cost, which Novant will pay. And then there are some other costs along the way that you would have to pay on behalf of your dependents. Um, the Probably the, the most inconvenient one is NBC fee bills. Um, and then you'd also have to pay for like flights. Um, and there's, again, recruiters can give you, we have a, an immigration roadmap that can show you all of the things along the way that you might have to pay for. So we're, we're happy to share that with you. And that's a great question for an individual recruiter. There um, may be, just to add to that, there may be some discounts that Novant Health, I know um, our legal team has worked out some discounts with certain um, legal areas. So we can talk about that offline if we need to. Yeah. Um, one other question that came through is about compensation. And so for Novant Health, um, the compensation is based on location, department, and years of experience. So um, we don't really give out a range of, of what it's going to be. What happens is um, our candidates will interview with Novant. If Novant says yes, then they will also give us a wage based on experience, which it's super important that your resume is up to date, has all your great experience on it so that you can get the best wage. Uh, but that's how it's calculated. So there's not um, there's not really a just a specific like, hey, it's going to be this this many dollars an hour. Um, there is though there have been a couple of questions about um, like if you work extra shifts, what do you like? Is there a bonus or extra pay? How does shift differential work? So I can take a little bit of this one, Tracy. Um, so there are incentives offered. It does depend on your unit. It changes unit to unit. Um, sometimes it depends on the season. So there recently was more holiday incentive for people to pick up shifts during the holidays. Now, you do have to be out of orientation to get any of these incentives. Um, but like I said, it depends on the unit of what they offer what their vacancy rate is, um, and just how often they offer it. You are usually able to sign up for extra shifts on most of the units. They usually have some sort of sign up for these shifts for you to work, um, but it really just depends on unit to unit. Yeah. That's, that's great. Um, so, I mean, and I think that's true for, like, there are some other questions that came in, and some, some of that's true just in general, that, like, unit to unit or location to location, some of these things are a little bit different. Um, so it may be hard to answer all of your very specific questions. And there are such great questions coming in, so we may not be able to get to all of them. Um, if you have a very specific question about you and your journey and what visa you should have, um, or your experience and would you qualify, um, please reach out to us. So we'd love to have a, a recruiter or if you already have a recruiter, please reach out to them. They would love to talk with you and give you a you know specific answer because um, it's just, it's a little bit hard to give for all locations. Um, 
there was a question about do we have locations in South Carolina? Um, and the answer is not right now. No, that's not what we're hiring for. We're hiring for North Carolina locations. But from Charlotte, in about 20 minutes in any direction, you can drive to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's really very, very close. Um, and probably Wilmington's the same way. So it's, um, you know, we're, we're very North and South Carolina. Um, a lot of the towns are just along the border. So pretty, pretty close, depending on what part of South Carolina you're trying to get close to. Um, one other thing that I've seen a lot of questions about that I know is a hot topic, especially for people who have already been hired, is NVC and what is the NVC doing? Um, that's a great question. And if you'd like to learn more, Worldwide is going to do a whole webinar on NVC um, in the coming weeks in January. We have seen some some delays with the NVC and, and they have sent... Um, lots of folks information saying that they that you know they're they have um, their fee bill ready to pay and it's not ready yet and so we I know it can be very frustrating um, but we are we are just waiting along with you and it you know I think we're seeing wait times of four to six months for some of the fee bills to come up with the NVC so um, so we're sorry, just be patient. And if you want an update about your specific case, please reach out to your case manager and they'd be happy to, you know, to look at your specific case. Um, okay, what's the length of contract? Um, so it's a three-year contract, 36 months. And these contracts are, it's its exactly that, it's 36 months. It is not reduced if you work overtime or it's, it is it is gonna be a three-year contract. Um, Okay, um, there is there are some questions, some specific questions about health insurance and the cost per paycheck. Um, it depends. I, yeah, I, was, I don't know that we have that specific answer. Yeah, today. it depends. So Novant Health does pay most, not all, but most of the um, cost for you personally. It, I do not know the breakdown, but there are levels to the insurance so you can choose minimal level medium or high level insurance based on what you and your family want um, and based on that it will tell you how much Novant Health will contribute for you you and your children you and your children and your spouse so it just are you and just your spouse so there's definitely different levels and you would know up front what you were signing up for. Um, it does not pay 100%, but it is over 50% for most of those plans. Awesome. Okay. Great, great questions. I mean, like tons of, tons of great questions, tons of interest. Um, at, you know, we invite you to reach out to our recruiting team, lots of different ways. There's a link in the chat. Uh, to apply directly. There's also a link here if you want to talk to somebody, a uh, recruiter live, please go to this um, healthstaff.org backslash worldwide health staff solutions live chat. Somebody will be able to chat with you immediately. We have recruiters available. Also at the top, we have a link to refer a friend. So if you're already hired and on your way to coming to know about help, then you have friends or family members that would you love to bring along with you, please feel free to, to click on that link. We'd be more than happy to help your friends and family members as well. Um, and I know we haven't answered everyone's questions today. Thank you so much for all the fantastic participation, but the recruiting team would be very happy to help you. So please, please make sure to reach out to them or your case manager and we'll get all of your individual questions answered. Um, as we start closing, closing down for today, I'd love to get final thoughts from each of our Novant folks. Um, what are the, you know, what are the things that you would like to leave this nurse group with today? Jordan, do you want to start? Sure. So first, again, I just want to thank everyone for coming to hear everything we have to say about Novant. Um, Novant really is a great place to work. I'm sure you'll hear a lot of people say it. My experience, it's really like a big family. The unit you work on, the hospital you work in, um, especially your unit, 
everyone, you'll get to know everybody. They'll get to know what's going on in your life. You'll get to know what's going on in theirs. And you really rely on these people and they're there for you kind of for whatever you're going through. Um, I'm excited to meet a lot of you throughout this process. I've also seen a lot of familiar names in the chat for people that are planning on already coming to Novant. So I'm excited to meet you guys in person once you are finally able to get here. Um, and I just want to thank you again for coming. And to kind of piggyback on that. Um, so, kabaluman mo nga bisaya ko, um, ako na bahala ninyo kung maabot na mo dere. So, ari nata sa Novant Health, kay daghantag opportunities niya, maayo ni sila mo support na nato. Daghan kay ko kanang friends na nahimong family kay tungod sa Novant Health. And other um, support systems, just in Novant alone, really, um, really put me to where I am now. So starting from an ED nurse, went to an ED educator, your managers will know where to place you. Like it just, you know, just blows my mind the kind of support I got. And really they placed me um, in specific uh, positions that kind of meet my passion and also meet the needs of Novant Health. So I'm excited to see you. Kita kita adere pohon. And as someone who's worked for Novant Health for many, many years, I can't imagine working for any other health system. We provide um, remarkable care each and every day to our patients, but I feel like it, we, re we truly provide remarkable care for each other. And I am thrilled that you are even considering coming to apply and work for us. So good luck on your journey. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time, everybody from Novant Health, and for all of those that joined us today from around the world. I hope everyone has a great day or evening or afternoon, and we'll talk to you all soon.